Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. God, what's that slop he's eating? I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... You're making this Chloe, way too complicated. I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Dad is texting. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Uh I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. Trucker? Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Having a bad day at the office? Some punks messed with the train tracks, and now I have to wait oh. for three days until I get my cargo. Time is money for a guy like oh. me. Oh. oh, yeah, that sucks. Well, Wish I could drive right out that'd of Arcadia be me. Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? Now, even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Locked a conversation thing. Hey, how's it going? Peachy, interview over. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18 wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? I'm just a truck enthusiast. My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those... you know who know what's. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. So I got a picture of the truck.
I don't think that's super helped. Another... Oh. Oh. So That's honest. disturbing. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm homeless. Otherwise, yeah, fantastic. Who are you? Max, can I get you something from the diner? I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. Kate Marsh. I was able to actually talk her down from the roof. That was you? Well, if I had a bottle, cheers. Thanks. Wish I had a bottle for you. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me, so I see everybody and everything. Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit finally got <laughs> kicked out of his daddy's school. He also drugged the girl who tried to jump. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. Well, if we can save one purse. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Maybe she'll get out of town before anything too bad happens. Is there anything back here? Nope. Just, just dumpsters. All right. I don't want to go that way. Okay, she doesn't want to go that way. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. went to super great lengths to get those tickets. Ugh. Oh boy. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Hello, Mr. Cotman. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? Let's just start by talking to him. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no, no keys. keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer All in a Barry. day, officer. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. 
I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Are we trying to get the keys, or are we just trying to get more general information? I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what <laughs> the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once, so... A while ago, so I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look, Max Amber. Nice outfit. By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. We'll chat later, Max. I shouldn't have said that. I need to rewind. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new- Thanks, Officer Bear. I'm glad you- Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Rachel! Uh. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Rachel! Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. There she is. Thanks, Officer. I'm glad you're... Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. 
Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. And he saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? See if we can use this dog against him. Save dogs. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. What happens if I just take the keys? I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Yeah. Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Oh, I got the key. Max? That's a quick one. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set, throw! Throw in the parking lot. Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can find in here. You okay, scope the area. out Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Frank Pompidou? Aww. For reals? That's a poodle's name.
Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. I don't think we're gonna find anything in the kitchen. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Open? No prize here. Nothing. Hmm. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <sighs> Recycle, dude. Is Frank going to deal online now? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? There's gotta be something in this room. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. All right. Ooh, Frank's stash. No more secrets. I think there was a knife out. Yes, knife. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. Curses. Nothing uh. here. And my knife broke. My blade will open any portal. Take. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I 
Gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No. Of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish... Oh no, where'd my audio go? That made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe... I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. 